Woo! Man, times are stressful. I got this big event coming up. I got to do for work. I there all of this crazy stuff going on with the news. And I just want so badly to just tune out for a minute, but I can't I can't really leave town for the next week or so because I have all this crazy shit. What the fuck is this crazy bitch doing? I can't get out of town until, you know, mid-November at the earliest. So I know Mike was wanting to go camping too. And so I just started looking at local campgrounds. And I found one that is actually in Dallas. So I texted him this week and I was like, hey, what do you think about just going out for one night, getting go camping and cook some food? Dave's down to hang out, but he's not going to camp out. Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't roll like that. So I didn't really know that there were that many feasible campsites this close to DFW. So I might be doing a lot more of this, um, just depending how this goes. This is all very decidedly not nature. It says we arrived there in 20 minutes. Let's see what it looks like in 20 minutes. This is decidedly more natural. Uh, I did all this reservation online, so let's see how this goes. Hello. Hey, afternoon. Do you have a reservation? I do. Okay. For a day you for camping. Camping. When you get the reservation, did you read about the Argentine sugar ants? Yes. Okay, uh, so they are definitely an issue, so we definitely recommend spraying all paper contact with the ground with some sort of ant repellent. Okay. Or go home defense and soda dust both work really well. What works really well? Or go home defense and seven dust. Okay. Uh, however, you can use most generic ant repellents as well. Okay. Thank you. Would you like a map today? Um, yes, please. I've got two guests coming too. Is that on your reservation? I do have two other vehicles. Okay. Coming, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? No, you're good to go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was easy enough. I, I, like, I know that there's something going on with ants here. I don't know if it, if it's going to be like we're all going to be overtaken by a swarm of man-eating ants, but I don't know. Like, how, how bad can it be? We'll spray our feet with stuff. I have no, no idea where I'm going. I think I just take a right and just keep going, basically. So we'll see. I'm not sure I'm going the right way, but we'll figure it out. Pretty out here, though. It's crazy that this is still Dallas County. I only had to drive, like, 25 minutes to get here. But... So far, so good. That's how you do it. How did I do that? Oh shit. Oh. Bro, we're, we're doing it. So this is like scraping magnesium shavings out. And magnesium burns like really, really hot for a couple seconds. Dude, this is not easy. This is hard. Dude, I'm, I'm surprised that Sam was able to do it so quickly. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Right? Yeah, but I never used a magnesium rod, and I never was an Eagle Scout. I also have a lighter. That's the hot. Oh. I have matches too, but I really want to do this. Yeah, dude. I really want to. I really want to just be a baller. Cause I don't think the paper's gonna. Oh, Bro. I don't think the paper's gonna catch as easily. 
like little this like is hard. here like little this like little bits little of hay. like kindling kindling yeah Let's see like this, this and is this. Not easy, bro. There. this is no it's right there i know you can use a knife too to scrape this stuff so close This thing is burning hot. Dave! You got it? Dave! Hell yeah. Yep. So you just have to scrape the shit out of it. And then just light it as close as you can. I'm going to use all of our materials to create fire. That was awesome. That felt good. That was hard though, that took like way longer than a match. That's how you make fire. Chef Boyardee might be your new, <laughs> like that might be your new name. We just live in like kings, dude. Like brats. Down with this. Yeah. A burger. Yeah. Charred fucking onion. <laughs> well, we're super charred. Right <laughs> very now. extreme. Very, very It's so you could probably eat it though. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll light it. Sweet. There's some onions. Do you want a piece of pepper jack? Yeah. You animal? Yes. It's habanero jack. Even better. I'm gonna try at least First one on yeah. one, one for sure. On, we'll you want one or two? One. one now. Okay. This yeah, this fire is hot. hot. I'm gonna do what you're doing. Or whichever one you... Uh, I wanna do one like that. Because yeah. that seems genius. Yeah. Like what kind of fucking savage? <laughs> like we have pepper jack bratwurst and then we just put another thing of habanero <laughs> jack. Cares, you can't man. not have habanero jack if somebody brings it to yeah. the party there's no way you're cheese not on cheese it. on cheese bro dude we're eating so well honestly dude like molten cheese and some onions for sure Pre-cut onions, like a G. Nice. Do you want some of these, Dave? Uh, no, I'm good. I think so. You want some mustard? Yeah, I think so. Are you a mustard guy? Yeah. Here you go, Mike. Thank you. Serve thyself. And then we got, I brought some chips. Man, we got so many good snacks. <laughs> We're like professional snackers. Dave, and mustard. Mike, yeah, do you want some of these sun chips? Yeah. This is a good heater. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's awesome. We'll have to build up our little fire. What? Thank you. Dude, I don't even know if I've ran for sun chips. I'm just eating. All right. We got to get this fire going. <laughs> this is like our only light source. We have flame. We just need to build it up, I think. It. It's not damp at all, right? It hasn't no. rained in days. That'll do it. That'll catch.
Dave was into it, Mike was into it, so I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna book another spot. But it was nice to get out. Um, I mean, it's only 25 minutes from my house. It's still in, it's in Dallas. But that convenience is kind of nice. You don't, you know, you don't find yourself driving like six hours or anything like that. So it's doable. One thing that I did figure out though is I'm gonna have to put the rain cover on my tent. I realize every every time I do it. You know, there's no forecast for rain or anything, but I wake up with like a, a light dew on the ceiling of the tent and it just kind of makes everything damp. So next time I do it, I'm going to definitely put that rain cover on. But yeah, it was a fun, fun trip. Woke up and there was still some smoldering um, coals, so I built the fire up a little bit and I'm just kind of been chilling. It's nice to not have to be anywhere and to just kind of get to hang out. Um, and just kind of chill, you know, especially after a crazy week, um, and I mean, all the insanity with the elections, every, everything that's going on with that, I just kind of want to tune out, it's all just kind of too noisy, yeah, it was fun, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it again, I might go try and fish, they got a pier, somewhere on the park. I got I got a map, but they have a pier and I might go just cast out a few times and see if I catch anything. Um, yeah, good times.